Hey everyone, welcome to a Let's Play EverQuest video. I decided, uh, I thought it might be a cool idea to do weird groups. And, um, so, let's do uh, a Crushbone with five warriors and a bard. See how this works. Let's, um, I'm gonna try to kill all the named that are up. So hopefully Crush or Divin are up. Uh, the idea is that we could use uh, taunt. All the warriors could taunt, and um, maybe we'd be able to pong aggro around, and the bard's uh, songs could keep us alive. I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but let's give it a shot. The warriors, we're, we're doing level 15. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost actually level 16, because I've played this character a little bit. Um, we've got all of the warriors are using tarnished weapons. Uh, or tarnished and rusty weapons that I found. I have a leather whip because I got off the Taskmaster. And then um, small tattered gear as well. Uh, all of that stuff is pretty reasonable to have at level 15 anyway. And bard, same deal. So let's, let's get going here and uh, see what we can do. So this is a this is a private server because uh, I don't want to deal with other people and um, I'm using bots to to fill the rest of the group. So these are um, basically NPCs, kind of like mercenaries are in the live game, except uh, a little bit, I guess, simpler AI. Um, behave like NPCs. They can follow simple commands. And um, let's see what we got here. Yes, crushes up. Excellent. All right, yeah, they can follow simple commands like follow, attack, guard, uh, stuff like that. Now, first thing, let's go see if the taskmaster is up over here. He's kind of a name. He's got some. Uh, well, can drop an earring or this whip, I guess. There aren't a whole lot of named in Crushman though. Really, just him and. Um, Maybe the warlord if you count him, and uh, crush and divin. Nah, legionnaire. Well, let's see. Let's repop him. I'm gonna use uh, GM command repop to respawn the zone and see if we can get the taskmaster to spawn. There we are. Of course, that's gonna screw up my. Uh, that might affect how uh, the legionnaire is now. All right, uh, the crush. Might have despawned. I'll we'll have to kick, take a look anyway. I might have to repop again to get him back up. This is probably one of my favorite zones. Um, all of I think all of my alts have leveled up here. It's just um, crush bone pads are just a great experience for low levels and, and um, oh nice. Another whip. All right, I'm gonna take that one and uh, let's let's give the sword to someone. Uh, get rid of the tarn, uh, the rusted longsword. No, I think someone. There's some people with spears here. Bronze longsword. I don't know where I got that. Rusty spear. Let's see. Yeah, let's go and get rid of the rusty spear. So bot, I'm going to say bot inventory remove 13 to take out his primary weapon. And I'm going to give him this. Great, so now we've got someone who has two swords. A couple of people have two swords. Um, oh. That was it, right? Yeah, no, no earring. Anyway, yeah, I, I leveled up uh, all, most, if not all, of my alts here at some point, and, um, so, I know the place like the back of my hand. I am a dwarf warrior as well, as you can see. And almost level 16. You know, let's, uh, let's just set it back down to level 15. I, I don't know if that affects my experience right now, but... Just to make it fair, because the whole group of level 16s is going to be a little bit unfair to uh, to 
test it out with. Yeah, there we are. I think a whole group of level 16s of any type could take out uh, Crush. Any class. Put my group up here. You actually, as it stands, even, uh, even level 51 isn't that much of a challenge. But I've had issues with this uh, clearing the throne room here, so that'll be 15 for the warriors. I'm not going to get anything useful out of them. Let's go take out the Oracle. And we'll just keep the bots here for a moment. Uh, group card here. So they're gonna stay there until I tell them to do otherwise. Uh, we've got Lord Darish. heal up for the next. Oh, I'll take out the Centurion first, but uh, here. Alright, I'm going to um, gonna heal up, so I'm going to just turn off video capture while we heal up, and uh, when I when we're back up to full life, we will uh, finish them off. So we're back up, uh, back to full health. Let's go and clear the rest of these guys. It's working surprisingly well, but I guess it's that we're just dealing with blues pretty much. So, uh, not, don't have exactly high expectations. Or low expectations? I don't know. We'll see if Devin's up. That'll tell us. That'll see how well this group does. And I have a feeling Devin would destroy us, so. All right, let's uh, let's just go take out the end. Darish, Oracle. Let's take out the Oracle. I think they're gonna go off the bar. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Right after the bard. this weird loot is from, uh, I guess from the newer expansions, they added some other stuff to these, uh, to these zones, the older zones. Um, just using a stock, unmodified stock EverQuest emulator database, which is supposed to guide, uh, sort of follow the live EverQuest, which means it's not exactly the same as you'd find back in 2002, 2003, 2001, whatever. Uh, it's it's about as modern as you know this past year is the hope. All right, I'm gonna pause this again while we heal up. Okay, so here we are. Let's see what we've got up the. Uh, is this a royal guard? It's always a royal guard. I wonder if it could be anything but a royal guard. What do we have up here? So 
So Centurion and Crush. Excellent. Hey, he's got the mace too. Well, the group did pretty well against um, against the regular stuff. It'd be probably a different story with higher level uh, against higher level mobs like Devin. But uh, no one died. Bronze mace, boring. Rawhide boots, probably an upgrade. Yeah, an upgrade. So um, yeah, that's how five warriors and a bard. Handle crush bone. I'll uh, I'll level this group up and uh, do some other do some other dungeons sometime as well as other other group makeups. So next up, unrest with a group of paladins. So stay tuned.